congratulations on purchasing an Aqua One Aquarium. If you've chosen this chapter, you have either the Aqua Mode 600 or Aqua Mode 900 Aquarium. Make sure you place the aquarium on a flat, level surface, strong enough to easily support its weight when filled with water and any decorative rocks. If you set the aquarium up on an uneven surface, it might crack. We recommend an Aqua One cabinet, but these versatile aquariums will also go perfectly on a sturdy, well-supported cabinet or bench top. Once you've decided on a location, unwrap the aquarium and place your desired position. Remove the filter unit from the aquarium body and take off the filter lid. Then remove all the components from the filter. Check you have each piece. A spray bar and elbow pipe. An intake connector. An intake pipe. A carbon cartridge with filter wall. A black sponge. And a bag ceramic noodles. These noodles are your biological media which will grow healthy bacteria to break down the waste from your fish. Wash out the aquarium and rinse the entire contents. Make sure you give the carbon cartridge and the noodles a good wash to remove any excess dust or particles. Then connect the intake pipe to the intake strainer. This will prevent any large objects being sucked into the pump, especially your favourite fish. Now connect the intake pipe to the bottom of the power head. Your power head should already be connected to the base of the filter unit. Place the filter grid in the bottom of the filter unit and then the ceramic noodles on top of the grid. Spread them out evenly over the grid. Next, place the black sponge in the filter and the carbon cartridge with filter wool on top. The carbon is the chemical filtration which takes many of the pollutants out of the water, leaving it crystal clear. You've now set out the filtration medium. The water will be pumped down through the medium from the top first. Next, connect the spray bar with the long section of the elbow to the top of the power head. Make sure the holes in the spray bar are pointing down to the filter medium. If your spray bar and elbow were not already connected, simply connect the short end of the elbow to the open end of the spray bar and if supplied, make sure the adapter plug is connected. Place the filter unit back on top of the aquarium. Your aquarium is now complete and ready to decorate and fill with water. Start by placing your rinsed gravel at the base of the aquarium. Unless you're planning to grow live plants, it's recommended you keep gravel to a minimum. Gravel is a better aquarium substrate than pebbles because the large pebble size allows excess food and waste to fall through the grains and build up on the bottom of the aquarium, then it rots. Gravel is finer and allows excess food and waste to land on the surface where it can be consumed by scavenging fish, keeping your aquarium much healthier. Position your thermometer and heater if required. The thermometer should always be placed at the opposite end of the tank to the heater for the most accurate readings. Next, place in any plastic plants and ornamental decorations. Aqua One has an extensive range of creative decorations to suit any aquarium style, which are a perfect refuge for your fish and create a lot of interest in your aquarium. Aqua One has a massive range of plastic plants and copy corals that add colour and beauty. Any synthetic ornaments and plants should be rinsed in tap water before putting in the tank. Also available is a large range of Aqua One aquarium backgrounds, 
which can neaten up and enhance the look of your aquarium. Next, put in your air stones and connect the air line to the air pump. If you can, try to place your air pump above the water level of the aquarium. If you're placing the pump below the water level of the tank, make sure to use an Aqua One check valve. It is possible for water to siphon back down the tube and may damage your pump, which is not covered by the guarantee. Every electrical cord should have a drip loop to stop water running down the cord from the tank into the equipment or electrical power outlet. When filling the aquarium, it's important that you don't fill the tank too high with water to ensure your aquarium doesn't overflow once you add the fish and the ornaments. Remember to add Aqua One water conditioner to your water to remove chlorine, heavy metals and other chemicals which will damage your filter and could harm your fish. Use the directions on the bottle to work out how much water conditioner to add to your water. With water conditioner, it's always better to overdose than to underdose. Next, plug in the heater, air pump and filter power head and switch them on. Close the lid and turn on the light. Before adding the fish, double check each item is working properly. Check the heater light is on if the water is under 25 degrees and the bubbles are coming out of the air stone. For the filtration, observe that water is being passed through the filter smoothly and it's not spraying or leaking out of the tank. Double check that the spray bar is pointing down into the filter. Your aquarium is now ready for a few small fish. However, it's safer to run your aquarium for at least three days before introducing them to your system. Oh, and if you've got a salt water set up, it may take a little longer. So it's best to ask your local Aqua One dealer or grab a copy of the DVD, Your Instructional Marine Aquarium Guide. Take a few minutes to check out the other important chapters. They'll cover maintenance and care of your new aquarium. Enjoy.